Big Apple is alive with athletic excitement these days. The men's singles finals in the U.S. Open Tennis Tournament will be held this afternoon. The Yankees are only a game and a half back in the American League East. The Mets have the best pitcher in baseball in Dwight Gooden, and they're only a game and a half out of first place. The New York Knicks have drafted Patrick Ewing. And the New York Giants open the 1985 season today with high hopes after an undefeated preseason. Bill Sims is surging with confidence, and he can choose from a group of speedy receivers thought by some to be the best the Giants have had in 20 years. Lawrence Taylor, simply the best linebacker in football, anchors a giant defensive 11 that is the acknowledged strength of this team. New Philadelphia owner Norman Brayman has promised a playoff contender in that city. A healthy Ron Jaworski, fresh from his best preseason ever, has been reunited with training camp holdout Mike Quick. And Philadelphia acquired Ernest Jackson from the Chargers. He led the AFC in rushing last year. Today, across the Hudson in the shadow of the Manhattan skyline, it's the Giants and the Eagles. CBS Sports presents... The National Football League. Today, the Philadelphia Eagles against the New York Giants. a warm, muggy day in the New York area, but we have a sellout here at Giants Stadium again, and these fans are more than ready for the first regular season of the night, regular season game of 1985. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Vern Lundquist, along with John Madden. Pat Summerall, who ordinarily occupies this spot, will be along a little later with a telecast of the men's singles finals at the U.S. Open Tennis Championship. This has been an interesting and sometimes tumultuous summer for both the Eagles and, and the Giants. Both teams have been bothered by continuing problems with holding out veterans. Both have had season-ending injuries to starters, and yet somehow both have had good preseasons. Philadelphia 3-1, and one, the Giants undefeated at 5-0. and oh. And yet I get a sense, John, that Marion Campbell is a little confused about this Philadelphia team. Well, you know, sometimes that stuff helps. As Marion Campbell said, he walks out on the field the first day at training camp, and he looks and there's 11 guys that aren't there, and they finally spend a few days and they start talking about that, the new owner, and everyone says, boy, you got a lot of problems. And he said, after a week or two, everyone said, hey, this is the hand that we're dealt. Let's play it. And he said, Doug, no, we started playing pretty well. Is the giant 5-0 record a little deceiving? I think uh, you don't know. I mean, this is when it's all going to count. You know, when they start here today. And I think that what the Giants uh, are trying to do is they finished last or 22nd rushing last year, and they would like to improve upon that. Their number one draft choice is a running back, George Adams. And, but I still think if they're going to win, if they're going to be a playoff team, it's going to be on the passing game in the arm of Phil Simms. They're going to try and get Joe Morris and George Adams right, left, and up the middle. See what kind of a day Phil Sims had a year ago. 409 yards. Second and seven. Blitz coming. Sims on the rollout. Has a man open. Manual touchdown. it through 54 yards in six plays Giants draw first blood with 11 39 to go in the quarter I go to the back for that and of that stuff. must watch Hope Hogan <laughs> second and goal from the eight
That's Joe Morris' second touchdown. He's keeping that ball. Coming off here again, I formation to the left. Good blocking right there. Good blocking in the line. Morris just makes a little cut and comes back to the outside. Good block there by Brad Benson and Billy Yard on that left side. Ali Hodgesik. 21-0 with 12.51 to go. Let's watch it over here. Brad Benson, number 60 there. See, he fires into his guy. Now watch him get him turned right there. You see that? He got the standoff. Then he turned it. Just as he turned him, Morris was like right in his back hip pocket. Boom! Went right off that. Morris with 71 yards, 15 carries, two TDs. It took a while, but the Giants finally get...